up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujika no Roken in chapter 154. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing uh, my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable chaotic kitty who is somewhere around here, and this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... Well, first of all, I'm glad this manga is back. Oh my god, I've missed Jujika no Rokunin so much. And Nakatake, I'm glad you are feeling better because for those of you that don't remember, um, the reason why um, Jujika no Rokunin um, went on hiatus a couple months ago is uh, due to Nakatake's health. So I'm glad that um, Nakatake is feeling better, but oh man, I am so excited. I am so freaking excited for this because we are going to be seeing uh, Aruma versus Jun. And Jun has it coming. Oh, that motherfucker has it coming. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled, Oh, I See. Oh, here we go. I'll end this. Every friendship, every memory. Oh, here we go. You finally made it, Shin Aruma. Jun. Dude, Judd is just taking it in stride. He's just chilling. Here we go. Um, you're quite the strong fella. I mean, you've been training so hard for your revenge and all, but I know all your weak spots. Oh no, what is he gonna do? Kaname, for each step he takes, kill yourselves one at a time. Oh god, Judd, why? That's so fucked up. Ooh. Oh my god, they're actually doing it! And also, it is not censored. Thank god. Kadansha, thank you for not censoring Chichika no Rokinen. Can't get close. <laughs> you see that? Non-targets made you too soft. Dude, this pale is everything, Nakatake, on page six. Oh my god. If you want to get what you want, you gotta be more ruthless. To get what you want? After everything you have stolen, their lives and molded their faces and um, behavior to your liking, and then turn them into obedient puppets that will die for you. Um, Aruma, Aruma, is this, is this what your Konami would have wanted? That's a great question! Is this what Konami would have wanted? No, that is the, uh, the correct answer to this, is no. And not just no, fuck no! Plus, Jun, you got manipulated by Kyo! Seriously, it was not Aruma's fault for all this shit. No, it's your fault for being a dumbass and believing Keo. You should, um, you should know better. None of these people are cano- I'm gonna read this again, cause goddamn. To get what, um, to get what you want. After everything you've stolen, their lives and molded their, um, uh, faces and behavior to your liking, and then turn them into obedient puppets that will die for you? Ruma, you just remember the original Konami. Is this, is this what your Konami would have wanted? You should know better. None of these people are Konami. What? If anything, Konami would be the one to stop you from becoming who you are now. He's right. You cannot deny this, Jun. You think you know her better than me? Dude, this art is fabulous. Well, dude, you were too blind by your bro to see it. Well, not just that, not the brokenness. It's uh, um, you were brainwashed, you dumbass. See, Jun is still in there somewhere. Now, if I can't take a step step forward, I'll <laughs> just lean forward. Yeah, get him! Did you just leap that far? Damn straight, he did. Go, Roma. Right now, you can only order them to save you. Ooh. All your Konamis are just empty husks. You've been dragging Azuma and everyone, Azuma and everyone, oh, fucking A, I screwed this up. Let me read this again. All your Konamis are just empty husks. You've been dragging Azuma and everyone else into your mess. That's what I couldn't tolerate. Wait, wait, huh? Azuma? He, even if, this is, again, this is why I'm pissed Azuma is alive. You ruined the moment, woman. Let him do what he needs to do. Just come the fuck on! Oh god, I, I hate that Ozma is alive. 
for this. You should be dead, woman! Ozma? Um, Ozma, are you actually alive? Didn't I tell you to hide somewhere? You actually... Aruma, the person who died was my fake clone. Jun once said that I had nothing to do with this. That's why he didn't do anything to me. Uh, Jun was just lost. Dude, Jun is brainwashed! Ozma. Ooh, you fucking moron! Please stop! Shut your mouth, Ozma! He got me. Stop your sniveling already! It was my idea to make him feel despair over your death before I finally kill him. But whatever, what, whatever, change your fucking plans! Uh, sh um, Jun, shut up! I'm gonna fuck her up real good once I send you to the afterlife so you can die with all your regrets, Aruma! Woo! Jun, what the fuck is wrong with me? I can't even pull the trigger for fuck's sake! Woo! The brainwashing has come undone! Whoa! What the fuck? Why does it hurt? Why? Oh, his memories are coming back! Yay! It hurts! Aruman, Ozma, it hurts! Jun? What? Oh, oh. Jun? Oh, I see. Oh, he killed himself! Holy shit! The situation has reached a turning point. A scream that cries out into the abyss. No! No! He killed himself! Oh, we got a message here too. Serialization will resume again. We'd like to thank all our readers. Sorry for making you worry. Holy shit! Oh my fucking god! This is insane! This is why I love this manga! Oh my god! Nakatake, you came back with a bang! Holy shit! Nakatake! Oh my god! I have to wonder though, in regards to, um... In regards to Jun killing himself, was that part of the brainwashing too? I'm very curious about that. Is that, um, is that part of, uh, um, is that part of the brainwashing that if uh, his memories came back, he would kill himself? Or do you guys think it was the trauma and the, you know, that was the real Jun that was like, nah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna live like this no more. I'm not gonna let someone else control me. Something there's something going on, whether it is um Keo's contingency plan or what. I feel I just I feel like this is the brainwashing. I do, that the moment he remembered anything that he would kill himself. That's got I'm telling you, that's gotta be the brainwashing. But oh my god! Oh I love Jujita the Rogan and so fucking much! Oh my god, I love this manga so much. Oh my god, I do. But I want to know what you guys think about this. I still... I'm still kind of torn about Ozma not being dead. Because I really, really wanted to see this, like, go even crazier. But I'm not going to lie. Seeing Jun kill himself like this is amazing. Part of me feels, I'm curious, do you guys think Ozma needed to be here for this? Part of me is like, uh, I don't know if Ozma needed to be here for this in all reality. I think that, I think, in all honesty, I think Jung couldn't pull the trigger even if Ozma was, uh, wasn't there. I just, in the pit of my stuff, I just feel like that that's the case. I feel like he wouldn't have been able to pull the trigger anyway. I'm very curious what you guys think. Like, if he would have ki straight up killed Ozma and then um, went after Jun, or Jun went after um, Aruma, I, I feel like you'd have still have um, the guilt of killing Ozma on, um, on his mind. And he would feel even more guilty and more inclined to kill himself. That's what my gut is telling me. And you know what? In all reality, I kind of wish that Ozma was de I still feel like Ozma being dead would have made this even more powerful. And I would have taken the talking no, no jutsu a little bit better. Because you could have had the attempted talking no jutsu, um, that scene from last chapter still. You could have still had that and had Ozma be killed. You could have still had it both still had it both ways. But I feel like if Ozma wasn't a lot if Ozma was dead. For this, I think it would just make the scene more impactful because of Aruma's, 
I know it's talking no jutsu in a way, but Aruma's um, words reminding um, reminding Jen of Kaname, and it would trigger it. I just feel like Ozma didn't need to be here for this. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys think Ozma needed to be alive for this, or do you think that if she were dead, it would have made the scene more powerful? I think it would make the scene more powerful, at least for me, because then you have... Then you're in a situation with John where he realizes he killed two of he killed his sister and one of his friends. And then the right and he couldn't um and he couldn't bear to do it to Aruma. And that's when he turned the gun on himself. I feel like that would have worked better, at least in my opinion, but oh my god. I still the end result, I'm happy with the end result where Jun kills himself, but I still think Ozma being dead would have made this more powerful. I do. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Jujika no Roken and content. Few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.